Hey, welcome back to Weeby Kids. We're going to be doing a nature art project today and we're going to be working with ice. We're going to be making these really cool um, ice mugs, which we can also use for um, ice candle holders as well. They're really, really beautiful, really effective and quite simple to make. Often we think about working with ice in the winter, but ice is something that we can work with all year round. We can bring some of the outdoors in, these leaves and berries. And as long as you've got a freezer, then making ice sculptures is something that we can do all year round. So these are the resources that we're going to use for this activity. We've got um, an enamel mug, but it can be any type of mug, really. We've got a glass or a jar, a jug of water. We've got some dried leaves and some dried berries. And we have a dragon's egg. But don't worry if you can't find a dragon's egg. You can just collect a few stones and we can use those instead. So once you've got all your materials together, we would recommend putting down a towel or a tea towel on your table. Now we're working with water and it's likely that we might get some, some spills. So we've got our towel, we've got a jug of water, we've got our mug, we've got a jar, we've got a dragon's egg and some stones, and we've also got some leaves and berries that we collected from outside. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the jug of water and we're going to pour the water into the mug. Now we're going to fill the mug about halfway or just under halfway, as you can see here. Okay, And then we're going to get the, the jar. I'm going to lie the jar on its side and I'm going to put the stones in just like so. And we're going to do this to weight the jar down once it is inside the water. So once we've got the stones in like that, we're just going to pop that into the cup, like so. And the water has come up around the sides and that water will freeze and it will give us a, a mug shape. So then for decorations, we're just going to put some leaves and some berries around the edges. Now, all the things that I have got here, they float. But um, this is a great little opportunity to to do the an experiment about floating and sinking and what might flow and what might sink. Of course, those things that float will give you a nice decorative pattern across the top. Um, and if you can find things that will sink, then of course, they'll give you a decorative pattern all the way through. Like, like so, okay. So it's quite simple how to do it. You'll notice that my dragon egg is still here. Now, legend has it that if you use a dragon egg to weight down the jar in the middle and then use this as a candle holder, apparently the ice will never ever melt. But that is only if you use a dragon egg. Now, once we've got it like this, the next stage is just to pop it in the freezer. We're going to put it in the freezer and we're going to leave it for about 12 hours. I'd say put it in and leave it overnight and then check it the next day. And then, yeah, once you pull it out, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we do next. So once you've waited overnight, you can then go to your freezer and you can take out your mug. Your jar will still be in there and it will be fixed. It will be fixed solid, frozen. Um, it's good to get a bowl at this point. I'm just using a, a glass perspex dish so that you can see what's happening. You're also gonna need a jug of lukewarm water as well. It's really important. So this is now stuck solid to the mug and the jar is stuck solid to the, to the ice. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take some of the lukewarm water and just pour it inside the jar, like so. And then just give it a bit of a wiggle around and it should, there 
There we go. I'm going to be doing it quite gently because we don't want to crack the ice. But there we go. It should just lift out like that. And then with the rest of the water, we're just going to pour that onto the mug. And by pouring this warm water onto the mug, it's just going to melt a little bit of the ice, which will free it from the mug. And hopefully it will just come out. So just give it a bit of a wiggle inside. Once you feel it come free, we're just going to turn it over. Lift the mug up like so. And there we have our iced candle holder or iced mug. So once you've got your iced jar like this, you can put your favourite beverage in there, maybe juice or, or something else. And it's really fun to use it as a cup. It keeps your, your drink ice cold. Um, but you can also use it to put a tea light inside it. And when you put a tea light inside it, you get this really, really beautiful glow. Now, of course, if you're going to put a tea light into this, it's going to create heat. And when it creates heat, the, the ice is, is going to melt. So one thing that we like to do is take these outdoors and put tea lights in them. And then we all guess to see how long it will take for each of ours to melt. And then one final little thing that we like to do is then frame using four sticks um, the pattern that is left with the water and the berries and the leaves once it has completely melted. So there's a load of fun things that we can do with these. Um, it's a lovely little process as well and working with ice is quite unique and fun too. So we hope you've enjoyed this nature art activity. Um, post your pictures in the subscribers artwork or just below in the forum and we look forward to, to seeing your pieces of work. All right, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.